Hey, hey, good morning. So I hope you guys are doing good. If you're new here, my name is Jeanette. If you second time, thank you. Thank you so much for clicking back. So I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well other than this annoying cold. It has just been constant and has refused to go anywhere. So I'm still struggling and not only me, also my other members of the family. Anyway, it's not going to stop us to do anything. We will still push with life. So I'm coming to you with a new video. But first of all, I want to apologize for the last video I uploaded about um, our anniversary. I had some music strike. Is it called music strike? Like um, the owner of the music started putting some adverts on my video and I've not started even myself getting the coins. I've not even reached a thousand subscribers. I've not been monetized and I felt some type of way. So I decided to put it down and re-upload it without the music. So I hope you guys are going to watch it still and please subscribe. So on today's video, we're gonna be talking, we're gonna be going into a sensitive topic. And first of all, let me put a disclaimer out there. I'm doing this video to help a sister or just for people to have some information out there. First of all, this video is about um, interracial relationship. And I'm married to a white guy. So I'm giving this advice coming from a person who is married from a white guy. So by the time you start judging me, put it in mind, I'm telling you this, I'm married to a white guy. My dad is a black guy. I have black brothers. So it's not a type of way. I'm not a racist or something. I'm just helping someone out there. I'm helping a sister and just giving information because sometimes we just, just jump into things without getting in, in information or we just following trend or we just going somewhere because we want something so that's why i'm doing this video today and i hope you will take the point which doesn't belong to you watch on now leave it and don't start uh, judging me i'm just saying what i feel has to be said so let's jump into the video so um the video what i want to put out there is don't date a white man because you think all white men are rich or you think men white men are rich just simple white men are rich what i want to tell you not all white men are rich some of them are still struggling some of them save a lot save the whole year or maybe some years to come to safari to come and visit africa to come and you know explore or go for a holiday so if you put your mentality that i've met this guy and you fall in love and think oh he has money because he's treating you well during the holiday please you are wrong because you have to research first before falling in love with a guy and if you're falling in love because you think he has money then that's even not love research about the person you're falling in love with and know your intentions yeah just know your intentions when you're getting into a relationship because if you go with intentions that all white people are rich you will be discouraged not all of them are rich some of them you come in you build each other just the same as most relationship other relationships are you build each other and you find success together so something else is um it's really wrong to think that why there's no domestic violence in your Euro european land should i put it like that like in europe or yeah mostly in europe people think oh europeans are not violent it's better I don't marry a black guy because European guys are not violent. My sister, you're wrong. It's 
more especially here in Switzerland it's recorded like there's almost 2,000 uh, cases recorded yearly that are recorded that people report and the ones that are not reported are even more than that so don't just think in your mind ah oh, white people are not violent they are some of them are even worse than black people or oh, some of them even might not be violent by hitting you but they are nurses and they can torture your mind even more than being physical so another thing don't date a white guy trying to change change him or trying to say oh he will adapt to my culture if you come to a white guy have an open mind because he has his cultures you have your own cultures so come with an open mind that both of you are going to work together to build your relationship so don't come with the intention thinking that um tamba delicia that might not work you might end up being disappointed thinking that ah oh, what i thought is not what i'm getting because funny enough let me tell you white people can even complain about very petty things like water it might not, it, actually i've lived here and now i think it's not petty actually water is very important and if you misuse water it's not good but when i came here at the beginning and i heard also from my friends and even last weekend i was laughing with my friend because we were just making an example about what white people might complain about and we just both of them say things like water and we were just laughing because it's true they complain of things that you yourself might think are oh, really did i even think about that so you have to learn to be open-minded and let him be also open-minded because us also black people have things that we have to learn from them and change we are not all perfect so something as don't think that europe is better than uh, uh, africa uh, europe is better than africa no if you come here you come in to work hard you might be as well working double hard than people from here so if you move in from africa to come to europe thinking that you're coming to search for green pastures yeah it's possible it's possible because there's a lot of opportunities here it's better everything is better as i've said in my videos before but then utalala you have to work hard so don't expect that you will be lying on your bed and things are just flowing money is just flowing no you have to move your asses so something else don't marry a white guy because you want cute kids all cute kids are cute from anywhere i'm very beautiful my parents were both black my sisters are very beautiful i've seen very beautiful black women black men amazing so this jumping into trend because your friends are getting married to um white people and you want cute kids because it's a trend please you will disappoint yourself at the end of the road if in general if you're not marrying this guy for love leave it leave it sis enjoy your life wait for the right guy to come for you either he's from any part of the world but please marry for love don't marry for don't marry for some other intentions these other intentions can be rectified we can try to change them but if you don't have love in the relationship it will end up disappointing you at the end of the day i know of course people divorce after staying together for some time and they say they are not compatible but at the beginning let that not be the beginning of your intention in the relationship that if it doesn't work we will divorce or if this guy doesn't give me purpose to stay in europe we can i'll leave him or i'm coming to marry this guy's guy because i want papers let that not be your intention of moving to europe or wanting to marry a white guy because 
it will lead you to disappointment it will lead you to frustrations just marry for go for intentions be marry for love if it doesn't work it will be understandable but if you your mind was there for different reason and it doesn't work it will be frustrations so that's it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you got something you learned something and if you did please make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this for other more good videos that i will be putting up this year and um yeah support me by subscribing comment down below if you want to ask anything or you have something to comment or to discuss just put it down below on the comment and i'll get back to you or we can discuss about it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one peace and love